in the grip of it. I don't even... Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chargers and the Bills, and it's coming up next. Playoff fever has come to upstate New York, and there's a look at Highmark Stadium here at Orchard Park. Coming up, divisional round Saturday, we've got an AFC battle on tap, as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Buffalo Bills. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part was... The first of four berths in the conference championships on the line here as divisional weekend in the NFL is underway. Free kick out of bounds. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Oh, Allen cannot get away and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. Fielded just inside the 20. 44-yard punt return of nine. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. Any more that did his part in the wild card win with three touchdown passes. Now, he's going to get a bigger test here in round two. But his unit is in rhythm, and they're playing as well as they have all year long. I wouldn't be surprised if this defense, though, tried to get after him early with a little extra pressure. If he... Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, so much of playing quarterback in the snow comes down to trying not to do too much. You've got to just keep telling yourself, throws downfield we've run every day in practice all year. But guess what? They suddenly become more difficult. And this one gets away from him and winds up an interception. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Second down and eight. Throwing now is Allen. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Williams, the man in motion left. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they will go backwards right away. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to throw here, Herbert. 
Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. Short completion, just four yards. And third and eight now. Now it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 30. Diggs with a good footwork. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Firing quickly is Allen. That's complete. And a well pass midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. First down. Here's the run with Cook. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They'll come up now, third and three. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Here's Allen on first and 10. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Second down and six now. It's now second and six. Here's Allen to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. The Charger D making things difficult, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. On first down, it's Herbert. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. First down, Los Angeles. Herbert. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Here's Herbert. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the to back receptions for him and it's another first down well so far little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone three passes three completions three first downs they're taking it to him and it's paying off herbert setting up to throw on first down and that'll be incomplete we do have a penalty flag down however let's see what that's about So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. 
They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Allen going to throw. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Pretty shifty footwork, but didn't buy him much. Here's a second and eight. And again, it's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Well, he's a diminutive receiver, Charles. Not a ton of size, but still able to bring that in against double coverage. I think that's a great job by him of understanding angles because you mentioned his size. He's not going to go over the top of someone or body someone out of the way. He's got to make sure he creates enough space for himself by getting people into the wrong spot on defense, moving them with his body, and then showing his numbers to the quarterback to be open. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. From the 20, here's second and three. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. I'll pick up two yards. First down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Here's Herbert. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Herbert now. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one.
one that you don't want to have. That's a second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to right quickly. On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. They'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get... And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And this one will be brought back to the 22. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And all the way down inside the five to the four. First and goal at the four yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four on the first down play. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes it in for a charger touchdown. Justin Herbert, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers had six to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the... Fourteen to three ball game. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. Here now, second and four, as they've got it. As we resume action, now Allen throwing on second down. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Throwing now is Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Second down on the yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one. Allen running right on the option. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Third down and two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. It's a pickup of six. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, it's Cook. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Brings up second and 12. Cook up the gut. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And this offense on third down today, three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 15-yard line. Give him 18 on the play. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Here's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bills are back within a score. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So that one all along a 11 play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert flushed out right. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, Chargers. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A solid gain of 15 yards and the sticks move. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll... And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Allen. Open man is Duvernay. They'll contain him to just four, second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target, and he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I crossing the field and bringing it in. Touchdown! Stephon Diggs with his second 
touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills have regained the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 17-14. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And Charles, he's a rookie. He's put it on the ground once, maybe defensively. Now they're saying, okay, we can get this young buck to cough it up two, three times. He's got to be careful here. Yeah, they do tend to zero in on the young runners because once one comes out, as you noted, you think there's an opportunity for more. This is where you have to get with that, guys. All right, they're going to come after you, but we believe in your talents. Take care of the football. And let's go. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, this to the tight end, Kincaid. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's a quick hitch round and the throw complete. Now he brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Here's third and three. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Returnable here for Davis. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? First down, Chargers. On first down, Justin Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. From the 48-yard line, here's second and three. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 42. It's a game of 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. Slam right, going to be caught by Palmer. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Two yards to go, second down. Now it's Herbert. And they move this all the way down to the nine. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Again, Herbert. And they're going to get it. They bring it down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Here's Herbert. Now they go screen. It's complete. 
And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. His pass caught at the four. Personal foul, unnecessary run. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it some. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Ryan Knoll taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a pickup of 17 on that one. And a Bills first down. Allen. Going to the right side here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Throwing on first down is Allen. The left side. Mounts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Allen. It's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So it's on to halftime of this A. Well, look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my brother. We predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's Herbert. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. From the 44 now, here's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Herbert now. 
That's caught right side by Palmer. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 45-yard line. To the air again, Herbert. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Now second and nine. Here's Herbert. And it's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett from 19 yards away. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to eight. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Here's Allen on first and 10. Throw left side to Kincaid. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Behind the line of scrimmage. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Throw right side caught by Davis. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Brings up third and nine. Throwing is Allen on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. They'll try the middle with Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Now bounds right around the twenty. Back to the ground, Cook. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Here's Cook again. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Throwing now is Allen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bills have cut the lead back down to two. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted, and 
Remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Not an easy spot here. He'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Back to throw here, Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught Keenan Allen. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. 24-yard game on the play. First down, Chargers. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's Herbert now on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Allen. Two yards on the pickup there. Third and seven now. Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are able to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes this a nine-point game. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Allen looks to throw on second down. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Here's Allen to throw it. And that's caught at the 25. And he's brought down after a very nice game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Allen. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. Well, they move 
move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. Yeah, always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. Final minute now of the third quarter. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Here's Herbert. Taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. On first down, it's Herbert. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And this is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. But he was covered quite well, and that one's it. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he is caught. They're able to get the third down conversion. One quarter remains for the right to advance to Back now in Buffalo. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down at a yard. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive. And now they face a third and three here. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he loses the football a second time. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. On play action, Allen. And there's that man again. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid, and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 41-yard line. To the air, Allen. 
It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Second and six at the Chargers 11-yard line. Allen going to throw. Converted five times on their many chances thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Bit of a pressure spot here for Tyler Bass. This for a fourth quarter lead. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. The offense on third down. They're hitting at 60%. Six out of ten thus far. Here it's third and three. That's caught right side by Palmer. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. He's a gain of six. First down, Los Angeles. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, here's a second down and six. Second and six at the 41-yard line. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Here's Herbert. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And out across midfield down to the 45. 75 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. They run again on first down. Cook. They get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 38-yard line. To throw, it's Allen. It's caught by Davis. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. Throwing now is Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. That's a third and seven. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to get the lead up to four. The kick by Bass is good, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, 
Those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And they'll keep leaning on the running. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. All in one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. At the Chargers, 23 yard line. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Now Allen. And that will be incomplete. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will get the lead. salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Allen's got it complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Herbert off of play action. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 42. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. All three timeouts plus the two-minute war. As we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. He finds his target, Allen. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Now first and goal. Now a handoff running through the middle. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams there to make the grab. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Both these teams fighting for their playoff lives. All tied, fourth quarter, as the kick is away here. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Allen. He gets this complete to Diggs. Well, that answers the question in my head. They're going to go for the win right now. I think you're absolutely right. They're not content with going OT. Now second down and a few inches. Throwing Allen. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Allen. 
Third down, here's a run by Cook. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And, partner, you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Herbert. That's caught by Palmer. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And he's going to miss this one. Wide to the left from distance. It's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Boy, that's a big time let down there. You work yourself in position to win the game, but the kick winds up no good. And now you've got to regroup as a team, get the energy back up, and get ready for overtime. And make sure you pump him up, too. He may be needed to try and win it again later. Now, one final throw incomplete. And time will run out here in the fourth quarter, and we are going to overtime. time to decide who goes on to the AFC title game. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Playoff football at its best. Remember, a touchdown on this drive isn't a game winner as they work on second down here. First throw in overtime for Herbert. He's got this to Williams complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A huge play there in overtime. 53 yards. First down. On first down, it's Herbert. Fights through him. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to work this one down to about the 5. 75 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Hoping to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And to the right side here, it's Allen. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And it'll be fourth down. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. This to at least get them a lead here in overtime. And this one is right through. And they have regained the lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First throw of overtime for Allen. 
Throw left side complete. That's Davis. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to one. And it'll be second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Now Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 39. And the Bills first down. Allen going to throw. And Diggs has it. He'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. At the Chargers now Allen again. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul. And his kick is good. A gut-wrenching moment, but he's able to bang it through from long distance. And they match an earlier OT field goal with one of their own. Just a big-time kick there from a big-time kicker. I like how you use big-time because we usually say that about position players, don't we? Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Well, that goes for kickers as well. And guess what? We're on to sudden death now. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Palmer. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second and a yard at the 32 yard line. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now it's Herbert. And they set up the screen. That's complete. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Here's J.K. Scott now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. This is taken at the 18. It's a net of 40 there. Punt of 48 and a return of eight. And that will come the offense as they take over. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 25 yard line. Coming right, this is Cook on the toss play. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up facing third and five. Brings up third and five. Here's Allen. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To the air. Allen going deep for Diggs. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Oh, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line.
On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 33. Thought we might see the field goal unit on third down, but the offense still out there. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 95 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. So as they head to the sidelines, we'll head to this break on EA Sports. So this is certainly a tough test here in the early career of the rookie kicker. This to book a trip to the AFC title game. And the kick is good. He puts it through, and they are moving on to the AFC championship game. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season. Can really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future.